Stepmother's Tale, Part 2. Seriosa, give me your plate. Well, thank you. You're welcome. Cool, thank you. I'd like a piece with cherry. Or a strawberry. Yeah. Eat, little brother. Cool, thank you. Here, take a cherry. Mm-hmm. Baby, what happened? We're waiting for you. And you're sitting on the floor in the closet crying. The door was suddenly locked when I tried to open it. What are you trying to say? Pasha and I were getting candles, and... Okay. Sergey, wait. Wait, please. Sergey, what do you want to do? What? Help them pack their things. <laughs> I'll find a decent orphanage and let these bastards choose where they want to go. Sergey, now we can't act like that. Come on, you're like a saint. With your starry-eyed idealism. <laughs> They're the bastards. They dared lie to me through their teeth about where you were. sick or something? No. It's a slight headache, but she'll be fine. Because of me? No. Mom says I make her head go round. Is Lena's head going round? I just think I have that effect. A little bit. Here, take this plate. Bring her some cake. You think you can handle that for me, huh? I can do it. Good. It's hard to tell tales if you have a pounding headache. I know. I'll tell her a story. And what about you? Okay, now. You think there's nothing to discuss here? And I'm not gonna listen to any excuses. Yeah? I have one question to ask. Did she manage to tell you? Quiet! That's it. Look, I'm not messing around here. So you saying we're going to an orphanage? That's right, you are. I mean, that was clear from the start. Not a problem. She's got her own way, just like I said. Oh, shut up, both of you, okay? I understood everything from the start. You're here in my house. Only because of her. She's the one who made it happen. She's a real saint, Pasha. While he wanted to send us to some orphanage. Listen to me. I really hope you know you're not idiots, and I never thought you were. I wasn't going to send you to some orphanage. And you're gonna go live with your grandmother. But she was already against this idea. Lena didn't want you to live with your grandmother, okay? She didn't want to separate you. So you wanted to do it? Yes, I did, yes. Because I knew what it would be like. And what is it like? Do tell us. You two are always bullying her. You locked her in the closet, you bastards. She was eager to make a real birthday party for you. What are you doing? I'm not going to let you hurt her anymore. But you hurt our mom, though, didn't you, Dad? You were not sorry. She thought you were going away on business. She knew you were going to your wife, and she cried at night. Little brother never hurt her. You made her cry. You're such a filthy bastard. You're a bastard! Natasha. I hate what you've Natasha. done to us! Natasha. Natasha. She died because Natasha. of you! Please, it's your calm fault! Down. Calm down. You're the one to blame! Natasha, okay, just calm down. I won't forgive you! Natasha! It's your fault and you ruined our family! Natasha, enough, enough, enough. Calm down. I won't stay here any just longer! Your mom has gone. Yet we need to live. Natasha. Life is harder than it seems. 
And we can't decide what happens, can we? <sighs> My god, what am I gonna do with you anyway? Well, you can send us off to an orphanage. <laughs> Listen to me. You need to understand that she is not to blame here. Natasha, do you remember how you cut your leg on the beach? Do you remember how you couldn't swim or do anything until it scarred over? You remember that? It all must scar over. But hey, listen, that's a good idea. Why don't we go to the sea? To the sea? Yeah, go. But do it without me. I won't go anywhere with you either. <laughs> what choice do you have? You're gonna go, you hear me? Well, how long are we going to stay here? It's already clear that this one is better. Yes, I like this one. Absolutely. I have to say, I agree, and this same house is vacant. Oh, and also, it's right on the beach. Are there any sharks there? No, there aren't any sharks. There are urchins, however, but they're removed. Urchins? Really? Yes, urchins. There are sea urchins at the beach. <sighs> we'll buy special shoes and everything will be okay. Are we going? Yeah. We'll do the paperwork. Lena, I'll wait for you outside. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'll join and you. And I want to go, go with you, too. You, too? Come on, little brother. Natasha, will you give him his coat, then? Mm-hmm. Well, I have their passports with me. My goodness, those three kids. How do you even manage? Does it hurt? I'm okay. I'll finish treatment soon and the ocean will heal everything. Is there fishing there? Uh, yeah, blue marlin there. Have you read The Old Man and the Sea? Hemingway is the author of that book, you know. I have. Oh, so, um, on the shore you can take out small fish. Yeah. That's your bait. Then you go into the sea on a boat and are able to catch big fish with this bait. <laughs> and then you use this big fish as your next bait, and <laughs> as you can see, it just goes on and on until you catch a blue marlin, and that's Well, so it. how big is it? Uh, the one I caught was uh, 321, I'm pretty three, sure. Three meters? Yeah, yeah, they grew up to about five meters. <laughs> My goodness. So is it that hard to pull it up, or? Well, you just have to Excuse see. Excuse me, I was wondering if that white car over there was yours? Uh, yeah, that's my car. Would you mind moving it? We can get our car through. Yeah, no problem. Thank you. Shall I call Aunt Lena? Nah, nah, there's no need to. Uh, hey, 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 hey! Oh, hey, hey! No, hey, hey! What are you doing with them? Uh, Ah. Jeez, hey, don't take him! Ah. Let's go, guys. But <laughs> Hey, where are you going? <laughs> yes, Galia, yes. I'm waiting for the lawyer. I, I don't know anything. They called me to tell me that Sergei had been arrested. Some financial fraud. I don't understand anything, no. All in all, yes. Listen, I will let you know soon. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Yes, yes. Okay, okay, okay. Bye. Mm-hmm. Lena, meet Eldar. He's your advocate. And Lena's actually Hello there. the wife of Sergei. Nice to meet you. Okay. So, did you see Sergei? Yes, I saw him. So, tell me, how is he? Well, he's okay, I guess, and staying strong. Uh, Lena, you must try to remember to calm down. Uh, yes. As much as it's possible in this kind of situation. What's the investigator say? N no thanks. Lena, will you excuse us? I haven't eaten anything since this morning. Yes, go for um, it. Thank you. Are uh, you ready to order? Yes, I sure am. Um, what do you have that's ready? Salads for sure. And drinks too. Well, I guess I'll have a salad. Anything to drink? And, uh, that's it. Um, well... And as for drinks, I'll just take some water. Uh, and I want some lemonade to start with. And what's the soup of the day, sir? It's chicken broth. I recommend it. Uh-huh. It's between chicken broth and also... Please the... excuse me. I need to ask you several questions. Uh, yes, of course, ma'am. That's it. Mm hmm So tell me, uh, why did they arrest Sergei? Well, uh, well... May I tell her? 
Lena, a claim was filed. Um, Kotov against Sergei. Kotov? Yes, that's right. Kotov. Zora, hold on. Did he have some reason to accuse Sergei, though? No, it can't be. It's impossible, Zora. Thank Lena, you. listen, please. <clears throat> According to the documents, Kotov transferred a certain sum of money to Domovoy as a payment for wood, yet the wood wasn't supplied to him. How come? Sora, how is any of this possible? I don't know. When I find the one to blame for it... Well, Zora, um... <sighs> now, Lena, listen. We all understand you. Thanks a lot. Your husband's not to blame. Mm. Yet, yeah, we will need to prove it. Mm, that's why you hired me. We need to make up some plan of defense, and Zora will be able to help us with all the accounts. Wait, 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 that's not what I don't understand. You are undoubtedly an expert in all that, but I don't understand. Is Sergei going to stay in prison? Lena, I think you understand. Lena. No, you know I don't understand. I don't understand why he was arrested. They must release him on bail at once because he's sick. Don't you already know that? <laughs> I know that. <laughs> Could I see Sergei tomorrow for a visit? Tomorrow. Tomorrow is difficult. Tomorrow we'll only manage to get permission from the investigator. Well, get it, would you please? Excuse me, I must go, if you don't mind. The kids are waiting for me, and they are nervous. Tomorrow, I'll hear from you. Uh, I'll give you a call. Then we'll wait and see. Okay. I'll walk Have you out. Have a good night. Zora, do you think that, um... Kotov could wish Sergei harm? Oh, Lena. He's a strange fellow. Who knows? He might be up to something. Do you think it's something personal? Mm, I don't think so. It's only business. Hmm. We just wonder who turned out to have itchy fingers. <sighs> Goodness. And this one? Can we trust him? We'll see, Lena. I didn't work with him. He was recommended to me. He may look somewhat obtuse. Yet he has good connections, both mm. in the investigative committee and in the prosecutor's office. Well, okay. We'll see. Zora, it's just that I can't take any risks. You get I it. I understand. Fine. Thanks for everything. Goodbye. Are you in Moscow? Why didn't you tell me? Ah. That smells good. You're finally home. We're just making some curd croquettes. Where's Dad now? Are you leaving tomorrow? That's a pity. Little brother, I've already told you that Dad won't come home tonight. Tomorrow? Not tomorrow, either. Is he away on business? I suppose you could say that. Okay. Little brother, let's go uh, take a shower before dinner. Why do that before dinner? Well, because you have flour all in your ears. We'll be back in a moment. Wait for us. <laughs> Tell me the number of the train, and I'll come to say goodbye to you. Yes, that's fine. Mm -hmm. Deal. See you tomorrow. Ha, ha. What's so funny to you? Why ask that? Dad is away on business. One of your fairy tales? Natasha, I don't think little brother should know. What about the truth we need to tell children? Mom is dead. Dad is in prison, so he should know. No, you're wrong. 
Why is that? Because the death of your mom is irreparable, while Sergei will be released. Are you so sure about that? Because he's not to blame for anything. There are tons of innocent people in jail. So I filled up the tub for a quick bath. Could you tell me what the lawyer said today, or...? Well, actually, I've already told you everything. Releasing him on bail is a problem. Damn it. Why are they holding him there? I don't know the answer. To intimidate him? Who, Kotov does? I don't know. Well, we must do something. What did the lawyer say to you? Well, all we can do to help him is to prepare a care package. Well, yeah. He has nothing. He's on his own. He didn't even take his medicine. He said he would after we came back. I'll go there with you tomorrow. No, Pasha. Tomorrow you're having your test at school. I'll wait for you and then go see the investigator. School doesn't matter anymore with all of this. Natasha, this will be over one day. Skipping a year at school won't do anything productive. I'm not going anywhere. I won't go tomorrow. But you will go tomorrow. Take this test and do whatever you want. Someone will have to watch little brother while I go see the investigator. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, I get it. Her husband is in prison, yet she just thinks about school. But not for herself. You don't think so? To brag to her friends. She could burst into tears at the very least. Listen, why should she freak out? She's not a drama queen. Why are you defending her? Do you treasure your life here now? Stop talking nonsense. You've gone nuts because of your Anton. But why bring up Anton? It makes sense. He's been in Moscow for a week, but only reached out before he That's left. That's none of your business. Really? He treats my sister like a... He called you and you run to him. Do you know that he... I don't know, and I don't want to. You should just go to... Go where? Go to school! That's where we're going. I am not. Where are you Where going? I want to! Idiot. No, I don't understand why they didn't give him his medicine. What do you mean by saying to me that it's not allowed? I'm telling you he's sick. What medical certificates do they need? All of them? Okay, I got it. Thank you. Goodbye. So then, did you take your test? I took the test. When will we know the result? They said we'll know very soon. Okay. Little brother is asleep, so I'll go on my errand. Yeah, that's Well, fine. when he wakes up, give him... Where's Natasha? I don't know. What do you mean by that? Didn't she take the test? She skipped the test. Why is that? Listen, just ask her that, okay? Fine. Hello? Tasha? Yes? No, I'm on my way. Well, it means I need to. I won't be long. Do you have any news on Sergei? Excuse me, bad time to talk at the moment, but I'll call you back later, okay? Mm-hmm. What's going on with her? I know she's going to Pavlograd. Goodness, what is she doing? Do you know who she's going with? Yeah, I do. There's a certain guy she likes. What, is your stepmother nervous? Uh-huh. <laughs> hey, look right there, over there. <laughs> yes, Aura, hello? Hello, Lena. Did you talk with the advocate? Yes, I talked to him. They didn't give the medicine to Sergei. Yes, I know that. Zora, you know, I was thinking and I've decided I'll decline the services of Eldar. Alina, what for? It wasn't him who didn't give Sergei his medicine. I understand, yet I find more information on the internet than from him. Well, be careful with the internet. If you don't like this advocate, we'll find another. It's no problem. Okay, Zora. Yes? 
I think I have another problem. What? What happened now? Tasha. She ran away. Off to Pavlograd. With some boy I don't even know. Unbelievable. Do you think you could ask somebody at the industrial combine to find out their neighbor's phone number? As far as I remember, her name's Anna, but that's all I know. She lives in the flat opposite theirs. I want to call her and uh, find out about Natasha. She decided to turn her phone off. Um, okay, Lena, I got it. Misha is sitting next to me at the moment. He's going to Pavlograd and he'll call this neighbor. Mm-hmm. Yes? May I? No, I'm busy. Excuse me, but I've been waiting for two hours. Uh, sorry, who are you? I'm the wife of Sergei Vasilyev. Um, call you back. Well, okay. Come in and have a seat. I'm listening. They didn't give him medicine that my husband needs. Well, is he sick? Don't you know about it? No. He got in an accident and he was in a coma. He has serious problems with his leg and arteries. He simply can't discontinue his treatment. He needs medicine, injections, physiotherapy treatment, massage, and so on. I can't promise you physiotherapy or massage, but I'll make sure he's uh, safe. No, that's not all. Could you tell me why you're keeping a sick person in custody? What if he runs away? To where? Where could he run away? Oh, I don't know. You wanted to go abroad, didn't you? Besides, we have some reasons to believe that your husband can warn his accomplices and destroy the evidence, too. Why are you looking at me like that? Don't like me? You can file a petition with the director. Very well. Will you allow me to see my husband at least? Or is this just some sick method you like to display? <laughs> well, in fact, I forgot your name. My name is Lena. All right, Lena. After meetings with close relatives, especially very good looking wives, People under investigation tend to feel depressed and are always ready at last to confess. That makes me an interested party. My husband will never admit to anything that he hasn't done. Hey there. Do I look all right? No, Sergey. No, nah, don't cry. No, we've gone through a lot of things together, so this is nothing at all. Do they give you medicine? They do. That's good. How's it going? Well, Natasha ran away to Pavlograd. <sighs> well, that was stupid. Turns out she has a boyfriend there. We'll deal with that when I'm released. Is Zora settling my legal issue? Yes. He has sent Misha there, but nothing so far. The chief accountant left, and... The new one doesn't understand anything. Okay. Listen, this lawyer is... Yes, I know. Zora is trying to find a better one. You deserve it. All these accusations are worthless pieces of paper. Someone didn't care. The signature's not mine. Sergei, but who would do this? Obviously, the one who wanted some quick money. There should have been signs of trouble long ago. Sergei, could it be more serious? Well, it's uh, extorting money. 
If they wanted to take away my business from me, they would have done it. Do you mean some employee just stole it? I think it's someone from the company. You have five minutes left. <gasps> Sergey, what's going to happen to you now? <laughs> Calm down. It's just a bad streak. All things must pass, you know that. I love you so much. Listen, please forgive me. For everything. What are you talking about? For what, dear? Lena, hello. Hello there, Lena. How are you? Hello there, Sanyich. Hello, Arena. <sighs> That's really awful. Are we able to help you somehow? Yes, Sanyich. That's why I've come to see you today. Could you introduce me to Advocate Kuvayev? As far as I remember, you're friends. Of course, yes, and you're right. Valerie is just the exact person you need for the job. How come I didn't think of him? Don't worry, Lena, I'll go call him now. Oh, thank you, Sanyich. <sighs> Have you come here from the prison? Mm-hmm. That's terrible. How is he? He's not good. Well, yes, he's doing his best, but I don't know how long he'll manage there. Taking into account his health. Yes, Valerie. Yes, I understand. Yes, I'll give her the phone. Lena, Valerie is ready to meet with you. Uh -huh. Talk to him and arrange yeah, okay. a time. Hello? Valerie, hello? Nice to meet you. Oh, only on Monday. Uh, could you make it earlier? This is urgent. He was in a coma after that accident. Uh, uh, yes, yes, I understand. Fine, I'll get the necessary documents by the time you arrive. Mm-hmm, fine, that sounds good. Thank you so much. Oh, Sanyich, I'm so grateful to you. It's nothing. I just hope everything works out. Me too. When he arrives from England, he said he's going to contact the Human Rights Ombudsman. I need to collect the papers concerning Sergei's illness. Well, that means you won't have to wait long. It will only be in three days, and I need to go to Pavlograd. <sighs> Maybe I could go and bring Natasha back, and you'll wait for the advocate? The advocate arrives on Monday, and I'll be back right on time. Can I go with you? Honey, we've agreed that you'll stay with Pasha, and Aunt Galia will be here, too. I, I know why Natasha has left. Why is that? Because she went to go and check if my mom has come back yet. No, honey. So when will she come for me, and how long will she be gone? Little brother. Oh, Aunt Galia's here. Uh, I'll get the door. I don't want to stay with Aunt Galia. I want to go with you. Honey, well, I need to go and bring Natasha back, all right? Fine. Uh, hey, who are you? Okay, What's let's going go. on? Look here, do you see? Yes, let's uh. go, right this way. We need to bring some discipline. 
Hello, good day. Are you Lena Vasilieva? Yes, yes, that's me. Who are you? And why on earth did you bring the police here? We are from Children's Services. Well, good for you. But what brings you here? We got the information that a child in your custody is in a different town and shouldn't be here. Is that true? Yes, that's true. And I'm going now to bring her back here. Okay. But it's almost 10 o'clock, and the little one is still away. That's because I'm packing my things. Are you leaving? <clears throat> if you leave, then they will be alone. What do you mean? My friend is coming to watch them. Why is it that a child in your custody is not here presently with you, ma'am? Because the girl left without permission, and that's why I'm going to bring her back. Listen, what difference does it make to you anyway? Pasha, Pasha. Why are you talking like that? Don't you be rude, young man. Mind your manners. I am not being rude so far. Your husband's in prison? I'd ask you not to discuss it in their presence. He is clueless. Uh, listen, dear. Now tell me, who stays with you when your Aunt Lena leaves? Is there supervision? Pasha and Natasha. Ah. Uh, hmm. Tell me, darling, has your sister left? Yeah. Excuse me, do you have the right to interrogate the child? <laughs> But I'm not interrogating. I'm just talking with him. It's innocent. Her husband gets interrogated. That's how she knows. Mm. Ah, so what are you doing here? On these grounds, we have the legal right to take the children away at any time, as one of the guardians is in prison, as you know. Shut your filthy mouth, you bitch! Hey, oh. what's going on here? Galia, they're from Children's Services. Yes. Yes. Oh, I see. The 22nd of September, 2014. The Facilievs, 9.45 in the evening. Representatives of Children's Services broke into the flat of theirs and without any notice. What are you doing? Well, I should ask you the same thing. Well, yes, but we are both from Children's Services. I want your names, surnames, positions. Um, <clears throat> Why haven't you taken off your shoes, at least? There are kids what? here. There are kids here, and they don't need your germs. And oh, you, well, he's, representative uh, of the police, I'm explain to me them. what you are doing. Why are there some strangers in here? <laughs> and do you have a search warrant to Who show? Who do you think you are, anyway? Kid? We have the right here to take away the kid on the basis of the fact that one guardian is a criminal and is in prison now. Uh, yes, and the unattended, mind you, unattended child is in some other town as well. Okay, I get it. You broke into the house terrified the kid and didn't take off your shoes. Just who do you think and you, you are? you didn't show the warrant. You must show the warrant. Well, yeah, we show the warrant, warrant or get out. Yeah, um, you must show that warrant. You must understand. There's some human aspect. I don't uh, understand. We are just what representatives. Human Children's uh, services. You said yeah, that already. Just, mm. And? So can they just come and take kids away like that? Apparently. One of my patients had to go through it. By the way, she has five kids to boot. So did they take away her own kids? They did. A crazy neighbor wrote a petition about her to children's services, and they came. The mom doesn't drink or smoke, yet she had to struggle with them for a year. Yet now she knows how to treat them better. By the way, I have another patient, also a single mother. She lives with her mother. She doesn't have much money, but she does her very best. They came, and they took away her kid. That's awful. What if they had come here when I was away? Well, I'm glad I was here, too. <sighs> Is he sleeping yet? Yeah, he fell asleep. I fell asleep myself. Well, then go back to sleep. You may. Why are you not in bed? We're waiting for Uncle Zora to come. <laughs> well, I'll wait with you, then. Oh, I really hope that's him. <laughs> I'll go. Hello, everyone. Hello, hello. 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 I'm so sorry that I had to call you so late. It's no problem. Are you okay? We're fine, as you can see. Bad luck just seems to find mm. you. Well, compared to the fact that a five-year-old kid is still waiting for his mom and Sergei's in prison, I'm fine. Okay. Tell me everything in detail. And then we can decide what to do. Don't worry. Everything will be fine. Well, I hope. 
Zora, I don't know. I mean, I still have some doubts. No, no. Galia is right. The only way is to go to Pavlograd right now for all of you. I know they'll be back tomorrow, but they won't find you. You went to honor the memory of their mother, but Natasha, she went first. Okay, tomorrow in the morning? I'll find a lawyer for this issue. My experienced mother of five knows some, and he'll take them down. Is that it, Pasha? I guess so. Only one bag is left. And little brother fell asleep on the sofa. Oh, he did? Well, let's go. Let's go. Oh, golly, I thanks so much. <sighs> Listen, I'm not sure it's a good idea to go so far at night. You could go by train tomorrow. No, no, we decided, and we must go now. I won't be able to fall asleep anyway, and I need the car there. Uncle yes, Zora, be careful. Right. where are we going? Sleep, sleep. I'll put you uh -huh. in the car very carefully. Here you go. Here. Put your head here. Uh -huh. All right. Are you okay? Bye. We'll arrive pretty soon. We've almost passed Gorlovka. Oh, really? In Gorlovka, there was a summer camp. I remember Mom sent Natasha and me there for one summer. And it rained a lot, I recall. We spent most of the time inside. We wanted to go home so bad. And Mom came to visit us only on Saturdays. On the day of Mom's funeral, it rained too. It was sunny in the morning. Then it went dark suddenly and started raining. Natasha felt sick the whole day. She understood what happened at once. I was playing football when they told me. I didn't believe it. And I still can't believe it. It's all like a terrible nightmare. I honestly dread going back there. I don't want to. The big boss has come with yes, you. Yes, we've come back home. And I know why we came back as well. Oh, why is that? Mom is going to be home very oh, soon. Oh, you mama. <laughs> well, let's go. Come on. Hush, hush, little brother. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Galia, hello. Hello, how are you? Go and pack your things. I settled it all for you. The lawyer took them all down. Oh, goodness, I owe you so much. With children's services, they make it so hard to have a child. And someone made a call to Children's Services. I wonder who. Well, I really don't care who called. How are the kids? And that rebellious girl? Oh, our rebellious girl is in love and doesn't want to go back to Moscow. Her boyfriend lives here. Does she use birth control? Oh, Galia, what are you talking about? No, don't put it past her. Why did you tell me? That's all I'll think about now. Oh, no, Natasha, no, no. 
Well, you know better. Galia, I will stay in touch and thank you very much. Okay, goodbye, yes. my friend. <laughs> Big hugs and kisses. Where are the guys? They've gone for a walk. Hmm. Natasha, when did you get in yesterday? I came back and went to bed at once. Why ask? Well, you mustn't think I'm controlling. I just worry. I don't think that. You have a kid to worry for. Uh, so how's this boyfriend of yours, Anton? He is super, and he's 18 years old. Well, he's still very young. You know you could introduce him to us. Don't you try to pretend you're my friend. My private life is none of your business. Tomorrow we're going back to Moscow. We'll drive safely. You're going as well. Let me think it over. Uh, no, I'm not. Natasha, you're coming. Oh, really? Am I? Okay, fine. <clears throat> Here, talk to the lawyer. He specializes in juvenile justice. Introduce yourself and tell him you're not going. I am not talking to anyone. Natasha, listen to me then. If we return to Moscow without you, they'll take away little brother and Pasha and it will be really difficult to get you back. And if you don't believe me, feel free to ask the lawyer. I can't go tomorrow. Natasha, there's another lawyer waiting for me in Moscow. Here, I got all the papers about his coma. Have you forgotten that Sergei is ill and still in prison? Okay, I'll go with you. But not tomorrow, the day after tomorrow. Tomorrow I have a birthday party. Where's all the food? I need money for a present. Yes, Sora, hello. How are you? Well, more or less fine. We're returning to Moscow the day after tomorrow. Well, I'm so glad to hear that. Zora, my lawyer Valeri is in Moscow already. Could you see him and give him the necessary information for me? Yes, especially since I have some information. What happened? Something with Sergei? No, no, another thing. It turns out Misha suddenly got lost. Misha? Yes, that same one. A manager of the company. What do you mean by saying that he got lost? In Pavlograd. He visited the industrial combine a few times, and then he got lost and melted away. Okay, but what does that mean? You're serious? Well, either something happened or he just faded away. Then it suddenly becomes clear, right? He forged Sergei's signature and stole Kotov's money. Just like that. So does that mean that they'll release Sergei? I hope so. But why not? What if there was a collusion, Lena? Between whom? Sergei and this Misha? That's not funny, Zora. Lena, no. That's the reasoning of the investigative authorities. Okay. Look, Lena, come back soon and we'll think it over. Bye. Take care. Okay. Goodbye. That looks really nice. Hello there. Are you going to pay me? Oh, yes, of course. I'm sorry. About these swindlers, didn't they know it? They did, they did. It's just that they're real bad people. Are there many? No, my dear. There are also very good people. Hush now. Hello, is there any food? Hello. What's that, porridge? It's really healthy, Natasha. Some bully swindlers attacked Aunt Lena. It's only healthy for children. What swindlers? I don't know who. 
Tell me why is there no food? You went shopping, right? Lena had her purse stolen. By swindlers. You should put some honey in the porridge. Wait, what do you mean that you have no money? No, Natasha, we have no money. You promised me some to buy a birthday present. I can't go without one. Well, you'll have to do without a present. This is all that I needed. I'm not going to eat this dirt. Tasha, where are you going? Eat it, eat up. Stop. What do you want? Are you that out of your mind? Do you want us all to go to different orphanages in the near future, or what? Just stop defending her. Do you really think she got robbed? I do. She might have just invented it to teach us since she's a renowned storyteller. Well, that, or she might not want to give me the money to buy a present. You are such an idiot. Quit filling little brother's head with that. I'll make the perfect gift for your Anton. Oh, do you think you're really capable to help me out at all? Wait, you got robbed? But where? Yes, yeah, Serena, at the store. You know, troubles come in threes. I wanted to ask you, could you tell the accountant not to transfer the money to my card? I'll settle everything when I'm in Moscow. I guess you need the money now. I can give you some. Oh, Irina, I would be very grateful. I don't think I have much, but I can ask Sanyech for it. No, 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 no. Please don't ask him, and I don't need that much here besides my gas money and for some food. Oh, well, then I... What is that noise? Oh, hello there. Did you want me to babysit for you? Oh, no, 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 no. I came for another reason. Anna, listen. Yes? Excuse me, but I feel really awkward. Could you lend me some money until tomorrow? I only need to pay for my phone. You know, I had all my uh, money. I know. I know everything because Natasha told me. You have no money, right? Wait right there. Wait. Here. I, I actually already gave everything to Natasha, but I have 50 left here for you. Take it. Wait, so that means Natasha borrowed some money? Oh, well, that's true, but she had some birthday party or something. Oh, almost 300 rubles. Here's some more. Oh, that's great. Thank you so much. Would you? Yeah. See? Listen, we sound so rich. There. <laughs> One, two, five. Tomorrow my colleague will send me money. Then in Moscow, I'll be able to unblock my card myself. What about Sergei's card? No, only he can do it. Is there enough for the lawyers? I am afraid there's no money for a lawyer. We could ask Zora for some, yeah? That's not a bad idea. That's what we'll do. Take this now. It's 20. Yeah. I remember, we used to count coins with Mom. Before her payday, we'd do it often. Was it difficult? Well, it was, before the Industrial Combine. And then Sergei showed up. Look what I bought for you. I didn't expect to find it. Oh, I've been wanting this so much! Cool, enjoy it. I'm getting ready for the party. Hey, dude, don't break it. When are you coming back? We rented the club for the night, so I'll come back in the morning. Well, I hope you have a good time. Ah, uh, is it cool if I wear your blouse? Sure, go for it. Thank you. Hello. Tasha. 
Why are you crying? Where do I need to go? Wait, I don't understand. Where are you? Where? Hey, thank you. Natasha, what happened? What are you doing out here? They went to another club. I couldn't get in. They said I'm too young. And what about Anton? Well, Anton offered to call a taxi. Then I... I told him I would... I would manage on my own. <laughs> Yet I have no money. And it's too late for buses. Yeah, I'll show him. I told you he was worthless. Don't worry. It's over. And don't tell Lena. I won't, but don't think about that. We must get out of here now. But how? We can walk. Like we always do. Okay, we have no other choice. Let's go. Hello? Yes? What? When, though? Natasha, good you're home. Let's go to Moscow to see Sergei. He's not doing well in the prison hospital. Little brother, Pasha, time to wake up. Where's Pasha? Oh, wow. What are you doing here, huh? I came to see you. <clears throat> are you crazy? You knocked my tooth out. Happy birthday. Oh. Uh, I wish you a great year of success. My God, Kolya. Kolya, don't stand there like that. Go and call the militia. Kolya, call someone. We gotta help them. Leave me alone. The militia doesn't matter. exist militia, any longer. Militia, police, whatever, they're gonna kill each other. We must warm. do something. Well done, Kolya, go on. Ah, well done. Call someone. We gotta help them. He kicked you hard. You think he looks better? I knocked his tooth out. Listen, brother. You're an idiot. But that was cool, thank you. Not at all. You're welcome, if anything. Sergei felt bad last night. He's in the prison hospital. Well, that sucks. I told you so. Look. Your boy's dad is here for him. You are stupid. Dad, Stop just drop what? it. You're a complete idiot. Well, but why didn't you guys file a claim? Does we'll that see, mean... okay? I don't know. Don't worry about it. They don't need to file a claim. Oh, thank you so much. Goodness, I hope nothing else bad will happen. Yeah, it must be hard for you. Where's little brother? At the neighbors. She's been a big help to us. I don't know how we manage without her. 
stop throwing sand at me or you could get it stuck in my eye. But it's my dump truck. I thought we were playing together. It's mine and I don't like to share my things. I'll tell my mom that you threw sand in my face. No, you won't. You don't even have a mom. I do have a mom. She's in another town at the hospital. Your mom is dead and gone and everyone knows that. No, you lie. Don't you say that. My mom is only kind of hey, sick. Hey, what's going on now? My mom is in Mochinoka because they buried her there. You're bad hey, stop and so it. selfish. I don't want to be your friend. Your mom's hey, dead. Hey, your mom's hey. dead. Seriosa, what happened? What's wrong? Right, you what's wrong? It. Let's what go. You Let's hey, go, huh? honey. You shouldn't talk like that. We what have to go now. I want to go right now. Seriosa, wait. No. How could that happen? You're not getting... Seriosa, please stop running. I can't catch up with you, Seriosa. Okay, now you go and pack your things. I'll get the money transfer for Marina. And then we'll leave at once, okay? Look, there's an ambulance over there. Excuse me, what happened? We live in this house. An older woman lost a child and, well, she had a heart attack. Lost a child? Come on, let's go check. He's not there either. That's it. We need to go to the police. Yes. We searched all the yards. He's not anywhere. Oh, my goodness. What are we going to do? Okay. First of all, calm down. Here. Write what he was wearing. Okay. So, his tennis shoes. And he had blue jeans. Mm -hmm. Excuse me, do you happen to have some Wait water? Moment, okay. Oh, thanks a lot. Sorry to bother you. Have you seen a five-year-old boy? Here's the photo. No. No? Thanks anyway. I'm completely to blame. You're to blame for what? They told me I mustn't hide the truth about his mom from him. I should have insisted. Listen, Lena, uh, did your husband have any troubles before? No. I mean, he did in his business. Small things. All in all, he and Zora coped well. Are they partners? Yes. Why do you want to know? Well, there may be some connection. Do you think they could have kidnapped little brother? Lena, I can't exclude anything, okay? That's my work. If he had been kidnapped, I think he'll turn up soon. Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm so stressed. <sighs> Wait, 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 wait. What? Okay. What is it? Wait a second. Uh... Let go right now! Mama! Mama! I'll call the police on you. You frightened the child. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Just leave We now. just thought that. Are you trying to kidnap my child or what? All right, listen and stop shouting, ma'am. Here's my idea. I'm a cop. The child got lost is all. Oh. You need to do a better job, then. You'd better wash your kid. Huh. What are you doing? You're always getting on my nerves. I told you to stay here and not go anywhere. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? We need to get some rest. Sleep a bit. And tomorrow we'll start again. I can't imagine where he could be. We've searched the whole town. Well, who knows? Maybe he fell asleep in some attic. In an attic? Oh, goodness me. You should try and get some sleep. <sighs> How could I even sleep? It's nighttime and I don't know where the child is. Oh, goodness. 
Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Lena. Lena, I came as soon as I found out. We can't find him. We've been searching around town. I can't even imagine where he might be. Lena. Please forgive me. I'm the one to blame. It's all my fault. And now... <laughs> Hush. My gosh, Hush, it's impossible. Down. More than calm 24 down, hours have passed. I hate myself. Come on, calm <laughs> down. Galia, do you oh. understand how terrible this Some is? Some kids have been found even later. Where could he be, Galia? Maybe he's dead. Do you okay, understand? stop this drama. Stop it. You're frightening the children. I'm responsible for all this. I brought harm to that child. Listen to me right now. Can you hear me? He's not in a hospital. It means everything's okay with him. I'll get an injection. No, I don't need any injection, Galia. I don't. I don't. I'll get it. It can't be. Goodness, it's a nightmare. Hush. Hello there. We're volunteers from the Search for Lost Children. Hello. Hello. We need the kids' photos to print them on leaflets and posters. As well as a search plan. Oh, Natasha, bring some photos. I'll be right back. So, who called the hospitals? My sister and I. Okay, let's check the list. Uh -huh. So this one right here. Everything will be all right. Yeah. Come on. Excuse me, Lieutenant Kirk. Well, what is it? I don't have any people. A child got lost in your area, sir. Am I supposed to produce people for you? When did he get lost? More than 24 hours ago. Oh, that's so terrible. May God watch over him. Best of luck to you. Galia. What is it, Max? What? What? Please oh, tell God. me. What, Galia? What? Oh. What? Lena. Oh, my God, Lena. Here. Okay, one is enough for the identification. So pull yourself together. I told you that the likelihood is small, but it's still possible. We must exclude it. So who will go? Me. No, I will. No, Pasha, I'd better do it. Right this way, then.
No, it's not him. Oh, oh get her. Honey. Hey, Lena. Honey. I can't believe all this. We may never see him alive. Yes, Vera. What happened? I came today to ask you a question. What? What is going on? With what? Oh, uh, about the tense political situation in the world. No, uh, about Sergei and Lena is what I mean. We want to know what's going on. Who would like to know? All of us want to know. Sergei and Lena are not exactly strangers to us, you know, and we've been working here from the beginning. And I heard a lot already. So I want to know what's going on. You want the truth? Well, Sergei is currently in the prison hospital where he is in critical condition. Misha fled or was killed, and the younger child of Sergei is missing. Are there any more questions? surely knows what is going on. It's... it's so impossible. Well, it's... it's lawlessness. It... it, it can't be like that. And the child... what did the child ever do wrong? They will kill each other and then you will have to deal with them. We'll just deal with them. You know, it's every night. Every night they have fights. Well, you should file a complaint. I've already filed three, and so what? They go on shouting. I don't know if they're physically fighting or what. Max, folks have seen the boy in Molchanovka. Pasha, where's Molchanovka? The cemetery. It's where Come Mom on, is. come on, quick. Attention, everyone. All right, everybody, look, this is our sector. Don't go too far from each other, all right? Pay attention to the grass and to the broken tree branches. Call his name, but not all the time. We don't want to scare him. We got him. it. Almost half the town has come. Is everything clear? Let's start the search. Group, we've got nothing. Get you out of this cold. But don't worry, you're safe now, my darling. Oh. Careful, careful, Drink careful, careful. slowly. Well, so what? Shall we go to my car? 
He's safe with the doctor. Just a sec. Okay. Did you know that my mom had died? Yes, little brother. Forgive us. Forgive us, little brother. Did my dad die as well? No, no, no. Your dad is alive, alive. Your dad is in trouble, but we'll save him. Don't worry. Definitely. Hello, everyone. Hello, Max. Hello. Hello there. Uh... Are you planning on leaving your car here? Yes, we'll come back for it. You know, it's hard for little brother to go by car being a long trip. How is he now? Well, physically okay, yet emotionally... He's bad. Well, he doesn't speak, not a word. He listens attentively, yet he is silent. Of course, he answers if you ask a question, yet most of the time he spends with Anna. I see. And your husband? He's so-so. Still in the hospital. The new advocate is trying to get him released on bail. And so what about the one from the Industrial Combine? Ah, you mean Misha. He's on a wanted list. I know that, but is there any evidence that he's involved in this or what? Well, frankly speaking, I don't know. Oh, here comes your train. Oh, hey, Uncle Max, it's the man who filed a complaint against Sergey. Hey. <laughs> Quiet, what are you doing? police. I've come to explain. The train Pavlograd Moscow is ready to depart from Platform 1. I'm sorry, we didn't know. Don't worry, we're all good. It's all fine. Play with that car, my friend. It's very good, expensive. It's just that... Just that, I forgot to buy batteries. Don't forget to buy them yourself. Well, that's it. Yes. All the best. Goodbye. And don't get lost anymore. <laughs> Goodbye. We'll all. see Bye. you. Goodbye. Goodbye now. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> Okay, guys, I need to go. Well, would you like a lift, ma'am? No, I can manage myself. Okay, okay you take now. care now. <laughs> Been here for a week. The whole town is discussing that a boy got lost, and I couldn't imagine it was him. Did you get frightened? Yes. Yet you must understand, I spent all my money on it. All of it. I didn't have anything left. Though I didn't see him then, in Moscow. He was hiding under his mother's apron. Well, the thing is, she's not his real mom. I know. They told me. Yet, I didn't know anything then. Neither about the accident, nor about his coma. Did it happen here? It did, yeah. Tell me more. He was passing, and the car in front of him swayed. And so... the other driver? He's absolutely fine, but still a problem. Yes. He's local? Yeah, and works at a station. Hmm. Hey, hold on. Does he go by the name Ivan Kolchishev? Sure. Do you know that man? Listen, I really know him. How so? Well, I must tell you that Kolchishev and this uh, bastard Misha who ran away with my money are relatives. Wait, you're talking about the manager from Domovoy? Yes, about that bastard. I know them very well. We're from the same village, too. Kultyshev's eldest daughter got married to Misha, and Misha is now his nephew by marriage. Listen, but he may be hiding there. We need to go to Kultyshev and check it out, all right? Anna told me that my mom sees me from heaven. So is that true? Yes, it's the truth. And Pasha and Natasha? And Pasha and Natasha? You're all her children. Will she always watch over us? Yes. And you and Dad? I don't know, dear. She might watch me since I'm with you. Will I only see her after I die? Little brother. 
Your mama would want you to live a very long life most of all. I know it for sure. She loves you so dearly. And Pasha and Natasha. And I love her so much. Of course you do. She is your mother. Will you die too? I will. Someday, yes. But not until I'm very old. And my dad? And your dad. But he won't die until he's really old. Is he sad locked up? Yes, very. Will you save him? We will all save him. A lot of people will help him. Like when they were looking for me? Mm-hmm. Come to me. Come to me. Oops. Come on, come on, come on. Get under the blanket now. Wait, I'll give you a pillow. Lie down. We will save your dad. We will, you hear me? Please come in. Thank you. Thank you. <sighs> okay. We're finally back home. Daddy! Daddy! Hey! My big boy! Mm. Serioza, you scared us. Mm. Natasha, Pasha, my lovely bandits. Mm. Oh my gosh. Mm. It's good to see you. Larry, will you come in? No, 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 I can't today. Uh, it's our pleasure. No, 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 I have to go. I have a lot uh, on my plate. Well, thank you. Well, it's too early to thank me, too early. Litigations are ahead of us. The case hasn't been dismissed yet, and thus you mustn't wind down. I have to go. Goodbye now. Goodbye, then. Thank you I'll for coming. You. you take care. Goodbye. <sighs> Goodbye. Shall we wash our hands and sit down to eat now? <laughs> Let's do that. <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> Hooray! Did you check out the road? In your police car, you would have gotten stuck for sure. Yeah, I know. So, does your friend live here? No, but he asked the guys from that bank. They're sure that someone has been staying at Kultyshev's for a month. And they saw... the lights were left on, and so on. The owner arrived three days ago. You should go work in the police force, and be sure to take your jeep with you. It could help out. <laughs> if I don't get the money back for the wood, maybe I'll have to. We've arrived. Here's his house. Hello there, Ivan. Ah. Hello, what do you want this time? The case is closed. So then how long will you victimize an innocent person? Ah, don't worry, Ivan. I have a few questions to ask, and that's it, okay? You've come far <laughs> just to ask some questions. No, no. Well, it's uh, part of my job. <sighs> okay, come on in. Uh, but, uh, what about those guys? We will wait right here. I'm all ears. What do you want? Ivan, why were you house shopping when you have a mansion? <laughs> so this is a mansion? <laughs> what are you talking about? I wanted to... Leave this country house to my sister. Oh, you have a sister? Oh, I meant to say my cousin. Uh, Ivan, could you give me some tea, please? It took us a very long time to get here. Oh, sure, I can make some. Hey. 
Hey, what are your people doing in my yard? Ah, huh? that's nothing. Maybe they just went to use the bathroom. Ivan, do you have a good relationship with your relatives? All in all, tell me. My relatives? I guess I do. There aren't that many. Well, but are you aware that your nephew disappeared? Yeah, I heard that. <laughs> Is that why you've come? You think he's hiding under my bed? I don't think he's there. He worked at the Combine, right? Mm, I think he did. I haven't seen him for ages. Honestly, what other work could a young man find around here? Well, I see. Ah, that work didn't do him any good. They say he was killed. Now listen, Ivan. The accident wasn't with an unknown, huh? But with the owner of the Combine. Well, driving is a gamble. Surely. I get it. But what's going on out there? Well, wait and let's find out. Quiet, quiet. Just keep calm, okay? Don't run! Oh, indeed. Look, isn't that your nephew there by chance? Whoops. Hey, don't try to run, okay? Sit down right here, Ivan. Bring him in here. Uh, you hurt me. Relax, man. Here, sit down. Have him At sit last down. we found him. Hiding in the shed. Well, there you go. That's your nephew. Remember him? The one that you haven't seen for ages. I'm not to blame. I'll explain. Okay, we're all ears. It's all them. Who is them? Shit. Would you shut up, I'm you an idiot? Sh he and Bagor planned everything. You're an idiot. Be quiet, Ivan. Spill it out. I only wanted some money. I thought he was going to die, but he's alive. Wait a minute. You mean Sergei? So then you expected him to die. I don't know, but I have nothing to do with that accident. Well, then who did? I told you, he and Bagor orchestrated it. They planned that car crash. Bagor said he would get the company, and then I would be his partner. Oh, yeah, sure, right! I don't need these problems. I don't want a record. And why'd you run away, huh? Bagor said as long as he got paid, I was indebted to him. He gave me the money so I could hide. And promised to give me more after Sergei was killed and buried. Tell me, when was Sergei supposed to die? Why ask that? I don't know. He's sick and he won't survive there. I'm gonna tell you everything. Could you treat it as a voluntary surrender? I'll, I'll sign everything. I don't need a criminal case. <laughs> You're a bastard. Well, were you gonna live out here? Out in the shed? No, but Gor said he would get me a new passport to go abroad. <laughs> uh, my life's over. Okay, just answer my question then. Who is Bagor? All right, come on, come on, Sergey. Let's toast right now for you and your new beginning. All these small glasses have made one big already. <laughs> <laughs> no, Zora, let's drink to you. It's hard to find such a good friend and trustful partner. I'm thankful we found each other. Let's drink. Okay. Yes, here's to you, Zora, my friend. To you, Zora. To my friend and partner. Oh, why, thank you. Listen, so what has Sveta been doing around the office lately, huh? Sveta? She destroyed the office into splinters. Oh, really, Sveta? <laughs> I'm telling you, she threw the printer hard to the floor while she protested loudly. She wanted it like before. <laughs> Frankly speaking, guys, uh, the whole office was really, really worried about you guys. Mm. <laughs> Especially Misha, I bet. Uh, don't say his name. And how could we have known how he'd turn out? How? Hello? Yes? Okay, but... No. Okay, then. Wait a moment. <clears throat> Who is it? The Homeowners Association. I'll be back. <clears throat> Shall we have another drink? Hello there, Lena. What are you doing here? Sergei is here under exit order, Don't right? Don't worry. I've come for a different reason. Is Zora Bagrov here in your flat now? Zora? Yes, he and Sergei are in the living room right now. Everything's fine. The kids here? They're on a walk. Come quickly. But what is going on? Don't worry, you're safe. At least for you and your husband.
Wait for me in the car. Well, that's it. We found our culprit, finally. Are you sure? Do you have any evidence of that? We have testimonies of two different people, including the one who was the organizer of your accident. Organizer? Yes. And your guest and your friend, Zora Bagrog. He was the mastermind. I can't believe it's Zora. It can't be. In fact, I have no right to tell you. But our colleagues in Pavlograd found your... your manager, Misha. He testified about the fraud and also the assassination attempt. In both cases, it was Zora Bagrov. Oh, Zora. This betrayal can't be true. It can. It can. That's how it usually happens. So then, what do you say? I hope you'll be all right. And next time, be careful when you're choosing a partner. Now what? What do we do? We survive. <laughs> the kids are coming back. <laughs> yes. We will survive. vacation by the seaside. <laughs> but first, Natasha will take her test for school. I'll take it. I'll take it. May I take the test as well? <laughs> <laughs> 